All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a triple beam balance, and this is the device that we use to measure mass. Now, before you measure the mass of any object, for the purposes of this today, we're going to go ahead and measure the mass of this block right here. Now, before we start and get this uh, block on our plate here, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our balance is actually zeroed out. And we know this because this line right here will line up with this little tick mark at the zero, and that tells me that my balance is actually ready to use. If this uh, were either up or down, I would have to check my counter masses to make sure that they were all zeroed out, or I might have to do a little calibration on it. All right, let's take a look at the three arms on our triple beam balance. The front arm, this is broken down into single grams. So everything you see here, one, two, three, four, five, these represent single grams. And these are actually broken down into tenths of grams. So if I'm looking at this, this is going to be 4.1 grams, 4.2, 4.3, 4.4, 4.5 .4, grams. If I go to the back arm, this is broken down into tens of grams. So this would be 10 grams, 20 grams, 30 grams, etc. And the, single, and the center arm is actually hundreds of grams, 100, 200, 300, 400. So let's go ahead and start uh, doing some measuring here. I'm going to go ahead and take my block, and I'm going to put it on the plate. Now you want to make sure that you don't drop it on the plate, because this is kind of a delicate instrument. So as you can see, once we put the block on the plate, we're no longer zeroed out, which what we're going to do now is we're going to use these these are what we call counter masses in order to try to get this back to zero. That's our goal, to get this back to zero. And once we do, we'll count up how much of these counter masses that we had to use. Now to start with, I'm going to have to make a guess, my best guess at how much I think this, the mass of this block is. I'm going to guess that it's 100. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my counter measure in the middle and I'm going to slide it to 100. Now what you want to do is make sure that it drops into that little dent there now let's see what happens. Now as you can see here, this is not balanced. In fact, what we know is that this is too much mass. So what we're going to do, we know that 100 is too much. So I'm going to slide that back to zero, and now I'm going to use my tens of masses. I'm going to slide it up to 50, because again, I'm just taking my best guess. Now as you can see right here, that 50 is not enough mass. So I'm going to keep going up, up, up. All right, now the 80 is too much. So let's go ahead and slide it back to 70 and see what happens. Okay, 70 is not quite enough mass, but 80 is too much. So automatically we know that this block is somewhere between 70 and 80 grams. So we're going to leave our countermeasure in 70. And what we're going to do next is we're going to move our countermeasure for the single grams over. And what we're going to try and do is we're going to keep moving this over until that is zero again. So let's see, so we're at 72.5. There's 73, as you can see, we're starting to uh, balance a little bit. Getting closer. Getting a little bit closer. Oh, that's very close. So as you can see, we're still a little bit above what's close. So I'm gonna move that just a little bit. Notice, you guys, how I'm using my, the tip of my pencil in order to move this because sometimes it, it kind of takes a little bit of fine tuning. So that's pretty darn close to zero. So we're, let's add this up. So I'm going to take 70 plus 1, 2, 3. And if I'm measuring this, you guys notice that there's a little tiny arrow right in the middle of this countermeasure. So that's 70, 1, 2, 3, point 1, 2, 3 grams. So we would write that down as 70. 3.3 grams. So again, what I did is I took the 70 that I have on this countermeasure plus the 3, and then, but I'm not quite done. I have to put a decimal and then 0.123 grams. So my final mass for this object, this block right here, we would say that it is 73.3 grams. All right, there you go. We've just taken the mass of an object using a triple beam balance.